historically, the Algerian regime has relied on three main pillars. So first is the whole FLN narrative, the nationalist narrative that basically says the FLN brought independence to this country and so they have the legitimate right to rule over it. And the second one is obviously redistribution and oil rents that serve to co-opt elites, to buy social peace. And the third one has been repression. And when you look at it, out of these three pill pillars, the two first ones are just not available anymore to ensure the survival of the regime. So there is this new generation who clearly showed that it does not buy into this whole discourse of historical legitimacy. And at the same time, as you mentioned, Algeria is struggling economically. The country heavily depends on oil rents and oil exports. And since 2000, 2014, since the drop in oil prices in 2014, the country's foreign reserves dropped from 200 billion US dollars to now less than 40 billion US dollars. And it's expected that uh, once these foreign reserves run out, the country is expected to face a severe economic shock. So an important tool for s regime survival is now no longer available. The regime, the system does not have the means to, to co-opt people, to buy social peace. Uh, we've seen in 2011, during the first wave of the so-called Arab Spring, uh, the regime was able to distribute social housing, to increase the price of subsidies uh, for essential goods. Uh, and today, as it stands, the regime does not have the capacity to do that. This is why it's really important for power holders to understand that the only alternative, really, is to sit at the negotiating table and engage in meaningful reforms. Yeah.